Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm not in front of my bookshelves because today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lovely festive Harry Potter hot chocolate. All the items that you need to make this hot chocolate will be listed in the description box down below, but remember that this is just a guide and you can tweak things for your own personal preference. Measure your milk by pouring it into the mug that you plan to use and then turn on the hob onto low. While the milk's heating up, open up your chocolate bar. I've opted for butterscotch because it sounded like butterbeer, but to be honest, this chocolate is amazing, so I really would recommend trying it. If you don't have butterscotch chocolate, you could opt for milk chocolate and then add butterscotch syrup. Add the broken pieces of chocolate into the milk, stirring constantly. As far as quantity goes, it is all about personal preference, but I have to admit, I did add half of this bar, and I'm not sorry because it was amazing. And it's a luxury hot chocolate. Once the chocolate is all melted, take either a little whisk or a little frother, give it a quick froth and then it's ready to go into your mug. I'm using my favourite Ravenclaw mug, it is a little bit heavy but it's one of my favourites and since we're making a Harry Potter hot chocolate it would be criminal not to use my Harry Potter mug. Then simply top with cream and try your best to stop your cat from stealing the entire thing. Add a generous helping of the popping candy, just whack it all on and then add your little gold Gringotts coins which makes it all sparkle and you're good to go once you add your lovely straw. Straw not actually essential but I think it's a nice little addition. I absolutely love this hot chocolate, it is so nice and I love the way the candy is just popping and the little bits of gold are like melting into the hot chocolate. So I think this would be a really fun thing to do for like a little sleepover or if you're having like a Harry Potter party because you could do straws to match your specific houses. I actually only have red because it's Christmas so I use these at Christmas time but you could have obviously red for Gryffindor, green for Slytherin, blue for Ravenclaw and then yellow for Hufflepuff. Um, the little gold bits also I feel like resemble like Gringotts coins. And then obviously the popping candy to me just feels like... I don't know, it feels like something you could get, you know, like Bertie Bott's hot chocolate or it could be um, like a spell that the gang have put on the hot chocolates. I feel like these are very, very magical and I currently have a cat who is looking at me like I'm, like I'm Snape being all mean. This is quite possibly the best hot chocolate I've ever had. Not for kitties. It's not for you. No, you can't have chocolate, it's bad. I've made these especially for Christmas, but they can definitely be drunk all year round. If you guys decide to give it a go, please let me know, tag me in any pictures, and I hope you guys have a lovely Christmas. Bye!